Don't be rude, like my coming to That's my rule. Use a fool if you think that your boo was next to me like glue. Don't rock jazz, okay, my rock ones. Okay, don't rock too. Who's those dudes? Okay, that's my goons. When I say they shoot, don't be rude, like my coming to That's my rule. Use a fool if you think that your boo was next to me like glue. Don't rock jazz, okay, my rock ones. Okay, don't rock too. Who's those dudes? Okay, that's my goons. When I say they shoot, don't be rude, like my coming to That's my rule. Use a fool if you think that your boo was next to me like glue. Don't rock jazz, okay, my rock ones. Okay, don't rock too. Who's those dudes? Okay, that's my goons. When I say they shoot. Hi guys, so I'm vlogging today. I'm not vlogging the whole day, I'm just vlogging me in my house because I'm going to Oxford Street. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not used to the whole vlogging thing and I'd probably forget to even vlog. I'd like, yeah, I just completely forget. So, um, yeah, I'm just vlogging now because I haven't done a video in a long time. But, yeah, hi guys. My room is such a mess. I literally vlogged it a long time. Imagine I was up at six o'clock. But basically, I don't know, like, every single day now for the past week, I've been waking up at four o'clock and then stay up for, like, 20 minutes and then go back to sleep. And I don't know why, but it's the most irritating thing ever. And, um, and then I wake up at nine o'clock. It's so weird. And I go to bed at, like, three o'clock. Actually, let's say... 2 o'clock, I'll go to bed at 2 o'clock, wake up at 4.30 in the morning, be on my phone for like 20 minutes, go back to sleep, wake up at 9 o'clock and start my day, like so annoying. But today, I woke up at like 6.30 and all I hear is bzz, bzz in my room and I'm like, what? And then I just keep hearing buzzing and I'm like, are you taking the piss? Like, it's, fam, it's 6 o'clock, I'm trying to sleep. But obviously I didn't wake up from the buzzing noise. I don't know, I just woke up in it and then I had buzzing. And then this dumb fly was just well bee or whatever. It wasn't even a wasp, it wasn't a bee, it was like some bloody weird retarded fly. It was just like between my neck and trying to like buzz its way out. And then I got my sh my slip on, I just killed it. I was so angry, I was like, this dumb small fly made me wake up. And I can't get back to sleep. Because you see that when you hear buzzing, yeah? And then it stops, but you feel like you can still hear buzzing. So it's not actually, like, it's dead, like, it's gone. But anyways, I'm chatting the most crap. How are you guys? You're good? Yeah. Yeah, you can really, can, you can really respond to me, can't you? But, um, yeah, I'm going to Oxford Street today. I've been up since six, so I just thought I'd do something a bit productive. Um, I'm going JD Sports to buy some clothes from Puma. Puma. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a few more, like, sportswear thing, because I have um, a photo shoot on Sunday. Um, yeah, I have a photo shoot, like, few more photo shoot on Sunday. What have I been doing? I haven't really been doing that much lately with my time. I've just been out here. I went to um, ASAP NAS. Not concert, but basically, at Selfridges yesterday, there was, like, a promo for a clothing line called Places and Faces, and ASAP NAS was them as a guest so i went there and it was like half lit half not because it got locked off why would you do an event in selfridges please and you know it's going to be asap nas like i don't understand it if you don't know who he is i'm i don't know none of his solo songs but he's part of asap mob and he sings yambogini hat or hello hose and yeah, and <laughs> but yeah, it was, it could have been much, much better if they had a venue just for them, like just for that specific event. But all in all, it was a really, really, really good day. Good vibes, positive, positive vibes only, PBO. And yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think I've wasted my time going there because I met like really nice people going there, but it could have been much better if it was just held in a venue like with just us in it. Um, what else has been going on? Nothing else has been going on. Like my summer, all in all my summer has actually been good. Like this is the best summer I've had in a long time because I'm always either in hospital or just ill or just don't have motives. And this summer I've really just wanted to find new friends. Like no shade to all of my friends yet. I know like some of my friends are like what but it's just like I don't know 
Because, you see that when you listen? Because most of my friends don't really listen to, like, Lil Yachty. Only, like, five of them do, or, like, two? Five to two. But, yeah, like, only, like, five of them do. And I like having, like, a variety of friends. So I wanted friends who, like, listen to Yachty or, like, Uzi and all that. And I don't know. I just like meeting new people, to be honest. So yeah, so that's what I've done this summer and I've kind of accomplished it. <laughs> like, that's one of the goals I wanted to do because I feel like I missed out on summer so much, like these past couple of years. So I just really wanted to like make the most of them. And yeah, so I'm going Travis Scott, I keep saying it. I keep, I'm going Travis Scott on the 25th. Be so lit, like I'm so excited. That's gonna be like the highlight. So far the highlight of my year was meeting ASAP Rocky and Playboy Kai, but Seeing Travis in concert is just going to be like, sick. It's going to be so, so sick. Um, what else has been going on? I don't know. Who's heard of this Marina Joyce girl? I don't know who she is. I've never really heard of her until like two, three days, no, two days ago. And apparently she was kidnapped by like members of ISIS and she was being held at gunpoint in her videos and she was being forced to talk. I was just like, boy, if that's what happens to YouTubers, um, <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm deactivating my account, bruv. But no, I shouldn't joke about it though. But apparently, she said that she's fine, and basically, apparently, her fans were the ones who started this whole thing. Because she was saying she's fine, like, all the time, and then people were like, no, you're not fine. You got something wrong with you, bruv. There's a gunpoint to your head in your eye reflection or whatever. And people got hyped and believed it, so that's what's all the fuss was about and she went from having like 600,000 subscribers to a million subscribers I want that to happen to me like but obviously that's a bad thing because that means that people will have to make up that I'm kidnapped god forbid <laughs> but yeah um yeah and Pete I like do you know what? yeah I watched her videos from like last year to now and I'm not gonna lie she does act really really different but apparently she does have schizophrenia or she's so I don't know if that's true or not. And apparently she used to use drugs and she had, um, she's shown signs of schizophrenia, of a schizophrenic or whatever you call it. So I guess I shouldn't really judge her because if she does have a, like, um, a mental illness, then no one should really judge. But it's just weird how it all blew up and then she's saying that she's okay and like people are trying to force the fact that she's not okay. like. If she's not okay, leave it to her to deal with. Don't get all hyped up and start making trends when my girl's drinking a cup of tea and watching these senders while everyone's thinking she's dying. Like, don't you know she watches these senders? <laughs> but yeah, what else has been going on? Nothing. Summer's just been lit, like I said. A really good summer. I, I don't really want to go out anymore until Travis. I feel like I've gone out too much. Like, if you know me personally, you know I never... Well, I do go out, but not like this. Like, I've gone out, like, literally every single day of this week. And I'm going out a lot more. I feel like it's good to be social and get out of the house, but sometimes I just want to stay in. But then I'm like, now nah, I want to go out. So, yeah. Nothing really to do. Nothing to do. I'm waiting for my phone to charge to 100. So far, it's... Uh, moans when the camera cuts off halfway but yeah i'm gonna go now but like i said i forgot what i was saying before i was talking about my battery or something it's on waiting for it to go to 100 it's on 100 now what i do is when like i'm walking to the bus stop actually i use my phone until it gets to 90 percent then obviously on the train i don't really use my phone i turn my phone off and when I get to my destination, I turn my phone back on, so it's still on 90. Listen to music while I'm shopping. I'm gonna try and turn it off. Then yeah, so I save a lot of that, kind of. But I don't do it all the time though. I just do it when I'm proper like, I don't know. So when I don't have headphones, it's just pointless. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. <coughs> Can you see me? Hi, so I'm wearing this jacket is my brother who gave it to me. This crop top is from Misguided. 
Jeans are from misguided socks. I don't know. Um, I think this jacket's from Stussy though. My brother shops in Stussy a lot. And yeah, and I'm um, taking this backpack with me. This is like my go-to backpack whenever I'm on like trains or anything because I just don't like carrying bags on trains. Yeah, again, backpacks I feel are more dangerous because people might take something from your bag. But um, I always hold it. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go now because it's 2 o'clock and it's going to be rush hour soon. Well, not soon, soon, but by the time I'm coming back, it's going to be rush hour. And it's just very, very annoying. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, Like I said before, thank you for almost a thousand subscribers. It's a bit mad. And I will see you guys when I get when I get back. I'll see you guys in my next video. So thanks for watching. And bye. Okay, bye. Going in the sun. Stay up with the streets if you can't take the heat. You need to stay up with the streets if you can't take the heat. Cause I get caught like Minnesota. Call like Minnesota. Call like Minnesota. Call like Minnesota. Stay up for the streets if you can't take the heat. You need to stay up for the streets if you can't take the heat. Call like Minnesota. Put it on my arms. <laughs> Hi guys. I'm back. I thought I was going to do a video like next week, but I'm doing it. I got a shirt on by the way. But uh, yeah, I'm doing one now. Basically, I like as I said in the video before yesterday. I was going Oxford Street to get things for Pima for this shoot, but went Oxford Street, got everything, and I forgot to get trainers because obviously it's a Puma campaign, so everything I wear has to be Puma. Got a Puma top, Puma leggings. I forgot to get Puma trainers, so I've got to go back to Oxford Street to get it. I could go Westfield or somewhere a bit closer, but one they might not have. So I went to Oxford Street, JD, right? They had so much Puma crepes, trainers, like nice ones. So um, I feel like I have more of an option there. Um, I don't know how I forgot to even buy it. I was just mainly focused on buying clothes. Um, yeah, so I forgot. I would go to one in Westfields or something, but the person I'm going with um, is to bait. So if you go to Westfields, People probably get clocked by a lot of people, so we have to go to the one in Oxford Street. Don't have big friends, guys. I thought I had be, but yeah, so I have to go back to Oxford Street to get these crepes and see if anything else I could buy. I bought a lot yesterday. Well, not you know, I didn't even buy a lot. I bought this bodysuit. I'll, I'll give you guys like an outfit of the day, right? Okay. So I bought this bodysuit from Bershka and it has like this heart inside. And I got these jeans. Well, these jeans. I had these jeans ages ago actually. Well, these jeans are from Misguided. I'm addicted to Misguided. And I got Ralph Lauren slippers on. You don't need to see my feet because I used to paint them. My toenails, of course. But yeah, see guys, I finally tidied up my chest of drawers. Well, it looks nice when it's tidied up, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, so I need to go get trainers. It's just gonna be a long day, man. And I bought this hat yesterday. New era hat. This camera makes me look ugly, but um, yeah, so that's it. Like, that's all I've got to say, really. That's all I've got to say, guys. I'm trying to do, be good at makeup. <laughs> if anyone like knows good like eyeshadow palettes, then comment down below because I wouldn't want new eyeshadow palettes. I'm kind of bored with this one that I have. I have uh, this. Do you know, when um, YouTubers do drugstore makeup thing, they always use this eyeshadow palette. It's the Nudes by Maybelline. Wait. I got this. So, if anyone has like any other good recommendations, apart from the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette, let me know. Because I 
I'm so tempted to get the Kali. I'm really tempted to get that eyeshadow palette, but I know people will be like, oh, you wasted your money. Like, so many people are like, my wasting my money on her. Where is it? On these two. But I don't care. It's my money. So if anyone knows any, like, good eyeshadow brands, then let me know. Because I really want eyeshadow. New eyeshadow. I might go out today and just see what brands there are and try and buy one, but I'm not sure. So thanks so much for watching, guys. My arms are killing. I don't know how people vlog. Well, hold the camera at least. I just felt like holding the camera and like being different rather than just placing the camera over there. I would show you guys, but it's, my room's a mess. Like, do you actually want to see my room? It's a mess. It's a mess. This is a mess to me. But yeah, um, I'd rather just hold it. Like, I feel like I'm interacting more with you guys by holding it. But yeah, I'll shut up now. So thank you, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Who that with your bitch, she never told you? What a bigger gas than a old school. Trying to steal the sauce, but I touch you. Shoot a face for the low, but I off you. Who that with your bitch, she never told you? Hey, what a bigger gas.